Hey guys, I recently did a Twitter poll asking what I should talk about in my next video and here we are, it's my next video. You overwhelmingly voted for the evolution of my gimmicks. So that's what I'm gonna talk about. Um, first though, um, I've discovered that I need one of those like little lights that you attach to your camera um, and I don't have one so right now, uh, in order to avoid the shadow on my face, I'm like having to hold my phone up. So let's just pretend that we're FaceTiming, okay? Okay, if my arm gets tired and you just like, uh, then sorry, I will do my best. Um, okay, so the evolution of my gimmick. When I first started wrestling, I heard probably what everybody has heard at some point or another, the best characters are you with the volume turned way up. So I thought about who I was um, and how I perceived myself and the the main things at the time were I was a Catholic schoolgirl. Um, I went to Catholic school for 12 years and I was a student athlete. So I was this um, kind of spirit squad leader type person. Um, I knew immediately before anything else, I knew that I wanted my initials to be ME because I just thought that it was gonna be awesome marketing. And it was gonna be so fun to come up with all these phrases uh, with those initials and be able to say things like, I love me and, um, and you know, make like t-shirts and you know, like the I love New York, except for I love ME, things like that. So um, I decided on this Catholic school girl, spirit squad leader type person. I knew my initials were gonna be ME and I wanted it to just immediately, I wanted the name to sound like this, this character. So I eventually settled on Mary Elizabeth and um, I, for a while I didn't have a last name, but uh, at some point I decided that Mary Elizabeth needed a last name. So I, I thought of some different ideas and I think like Warren or Mitchell or these, I don't know, these different things, these different ideas. Um, I was kind of workshopping and brainstorming and I eventually settled on Monroe, which sort of tapped into the other side of what I was trying to portray, which was um, bringing in that kind of like glam element. Um, and I eventually actually was platinum blonde for a while. So um, all of this was to, um, to support like my platform and my message that I have always wanted to share, which is you can be anything and everything and you can be all of those things at the same time. So nothing is mutually exclusive. If you are smart, it doesn't mean you can't be pretty. If you're pretty, it doesn't mean you can't be strong. If you're strong, it doesn't mean you can't be funny. All of these things. And that's um, something that I've, I've always carried through. Um, so I'm Mary Elizabeth. I'm a heel manager valet. And I, um, just as I'm training, I'm, I'm getting a little bit more and more involved in the matches that I'm a part of and, and kind of getting more experience out there. In fact, uh, that led to me giving my first ever Tornado DDT to one John Moxley. And uh, I remember it because he, after I guess he saw the, the episode, he told me um, that I looked really funny, that I looked like a, a ballerina because I kept my toes pointed the whole time. But um, I, I was a dancer and a ballerina growing up, so of course I was gonna point my toes. Um, but after a while, I, um, I started to get get a chance to get in the ring and wrestle. And um, I, I kind of continued like developing my character and I, I settled on, um, you know, that kind of Catholic school girl spirit squad leader at first, but it, it eventually evolved into um, just the, like, it was like the spirit squad. Like, yeah, I'm, you know, I have so much, energy and hooray, but also like that athlete. And um, then it became Buddy the Elf meets She-Hulk meets Rainbow Bright. Um, and that part's because I, when I was deciding what I wanted my signature colors to be, um, I, I kept thinking of these ideas and it was like, okay, well, uh, you know, somebody has this, somebody has that. Um, but something that nobody had was my favorite color, rainbow. 
So instead of um, making everything kind of like the same or um, having one definitive look or color scheme, I just made the rainbows the common thread. So everything that I had, I would incorporate rainbows and that just became my thing. Um, so it was a lot of fun and I was just like colorful and fun and happy and um, still very competitive. And if you, um, if you know me now, you know that that, that competitive side is a huge part of uh, my character and of who I am. So I, I was wrestling as Mary Elizabeth Monroe for years and um, kind of just leaning into that like Buddy the Elf, She-Hulk um, character and um, you know just trying to build my audience and build my platform so that I could make a positive impact and that I could share that message that I you know I wanted to, to show people that that you could um, kind of like break the barriers and, and get outside the boxes and, and do all of these things um, and be all of these things that that everybody has the potential to be. Um, so then I saw that there was a, a tryout seminar for Ring of Honor, and this is um, about 10 years in to my independent wrestling career, and I, I decided if I didn't um, if I didn't go take opportunities like that, then I you know I, I would never. Um, I would never really know um, and I would never be able to say that I really tried everything. So I knew that I had to do my part and I sent in the application and I paid my fee. I went to the tryout and I, um, I, I left it all out there. I, I just, I really busted my butt to prepare. Um, I trained with Les Thatcher and he, uh, and, and you know, that all the other people there just really helped um, get me ready to go. So I, I did this tryout and eventually I got the opportunity to actually debut for Ring of Honor. And at that point, I, I had wanted for a long time to get to wrestle under my real name, Kelly Klein. And I had tried it a couple of times, but I had just never really been able to, um, I don't know, get, get promoters on board, but also I, I didn't really like push it. Um, so when I was going to debut for Ring of Honor, I asked, you know, did, did you need me to be Mary Elizabeth or can I use my real name? And uh, I was told, you know, we didn't, we weren't going to make you change your name because we know how, um, how hard people work to build their character and their name and, and their following. And we weren't going to, you know, try to make you change that and I said well I I feel like this is the right move and I knew that if I didn't do it then and I debuted um however I debuted basically was like kind of what I was gonna have to um have to stick with however I presented myself and especially something like a name I, I couldn't debut as one thing and then change my name it was just it was not gonna be um as effective so um, they said that, you know, they were on board if that's what I wanted to do. Um, and I, you know, I, I just really believe that my real fans and my following would uh, stick with me. So some of you may remember when I made that change, uh, I got a lot of you were like, what happened? Where'd Mary Elizabeth go? And we like her and we miss her and you're, you're so mean now. <laughs> and, um, and, and, you know, it, it was great that um, people loved Mary Elizabeth because I did too, or I wouldn't have, um, you know, portrayed Mary Elizabeth for 10 years, but um, you guys stuck with me and, you know, were patient and then, you know, kind of started to, to get what I was doing. And then, um, of course, those of you who were not with me at that point, um, you know, got to be introduced to kind of what I was doing. And um, it, it was still uh, essentially the same thing. I started as the pretty badass. And the point of that, again, was that you can be pretty and you can be badass and you don't have to choose one or the other. So even though I was doing it in a different way, it was still always the same message and it always has been and, and it always will be. 
So um, if, if you have followed or if you go back and look, um, I think you'll see that really the essential things have always stayed the same and maybe that's why it worked because those are the things and are the things that are authentic to me. And, um, and I think that that's why the people who, who do stick with me, that's probably a big part of why, because, um, because I do really make, um, make a point to, you know, kind of, I guess not, not kind of, but to be authentic and to, to stay true to what, um, what I am and what's important to me. And, and that's the only way that you can really, I think, do, do it the best just because that's, that's, that's what you know, you know, who you are and what you are. Um, that's what you know the best. So, uh, I, I've been able to find and lean into those things. So when I, um, started to, to work as Kelly Klein and I was the pretty badass, but I was like, um, not so happy and smiley and rainbows. Um, I leaned harder into the competitive nature cause I had to figure out how, how do I still be me and be true to who I am? Um, when I'm, you know, kind of being this, like the bad guy for the first time in 10 years. And, um, that was when I, I thought about like what makes me, me and what makes me tick and, um, you know, leaned into that, that competitive side just a little bit more. And that's what could justify, um, my, my character and my persona and how I would, um, present myself and how I'd react to things. Um, and then, you know, as I've, just, uh, I mean, now I've been with Ring of Honor for four years and I, I've i um, embraced, you know, the gatekeeper because I think, um, you know, you guys know whether I call myself the pretty badass or not. You know that um, that I'm, I'm really very much about the, the different aspects of what makes me me and that's what I want for all of you too. And um, so then, you know, finding the gatekeeper and using that idea to um, try to make Women of Honor the best it could be and um, sort of appoint myself to stand up for Women of Honor and for wrestling. And um, and now using, using that concept as like the gatekeeper for myself and for my own goals and potential. And everyone can do that. All of us can do that. So... Um, I, I've just kind of like followed this thread and and followed this path and taken these um, you know these turns, but uh, there's always been this common thread um, that that is has maintained throughout where it's um, it's always been about you know me being I've always been competitive and determined and driven and I've always been um, I, I've always wanted to to uh, connect with you guys and to to be a positive um, impact for for somebody for anybody and and to you know just to to keep sharing this message in in as many different ways as I can that you can be all of these things and that you can break the mold and you can um, you can design your own future you you are the gatekeeper to your potential. You are the road to your own destiny. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm so, I'm so thrilled that I've, I've gotten to where I am and, um, that, that, that girl who didn't have one clue what she was doing or what she was getting into had the strength and the courage to, um, to take that risk and take that first step. So, <laughs> um, did I mention my production? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Guys, I need a stand for this phone. My arm fell asleep. All right. I don't know if I turned upside down or if I did this right, but <clears throat> if you liked this video, please hit like and hit subscribe. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Go check out Real Kelly Klein on Twitter and Instagram and check out my next video and my next poll. We'll figure out a new topic.
Bye.